Good morning, everyone. Good to have you here. Good afternoon. Hola. Good evening. Hola. Como estas? Como estas? Estoy muy bien. Muy, muy bien. How are you, man? Ah, doing fantastic. Last day. Ah. Are you, are you tired of me already? I'm so tired of you. Really? You, you, you cannot stand me. I would have said yes day one. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, man, you're awesome. Are you kidding me? Everybody welcome Pablo. Pablo Stanley. Give him a warm welcome. Hello. Hello, guys. Good to have you here, my friend. Yes. Good to have you here. Let us know where, you, where you're visiting us from. That's super fun just to see like people from all over the world. It right? is. You can say, like, uh, good evening from Croatia. Yeah, exactly. Good afternoon from Croatia. Actually, share what time it is. Like, uh, what time it is where you're... You're also visiting us from. That's uh, that's also like that. It shows commitment. It's 3 a.m. It does actually. And I'm here. You know. Arlie from Mexico. Awesome. Arlie, yeah. Which is where you are from. Oh man. Adam's just. We're jealous of Adam because it's 4 p.m. There is his work days is winding down. Our days is getting started here. Yeah. So noon on the dot in uh, is that in Florida? So Jessica, awesome. Thank you for. Joining us, so yeah, this is really good. Pakistan, as far as where is Pakistan, France, five, seventeen, five, five p.m. Seventeen. What is that? Five. Should be, should be five. Yep. Denver in the house. There I'm from go. Denver, so. Ooh, nice. What's up, uh, what, uh, where in Denver? I'm Aurora, the like largest suburb. So, uh, where are you from, Stephen? The well, exact Denver's address. Uh, okay, we need yeah. the exact address. Just kidding. Don't yeah. don't put that in there. Just for your own <laughs> safety. Uh, Chile in the house. Good. Good to have you. All right, London, yeah. baby. So this is super cool. Yeah. Are you excited about today? Yeah, man. I'm super excited about this. I, I love this. I, I uh, kind of want to get people to get started on the on the challenge real fast. Yes, let's do that. Just to, um, and then we'll dive. Then it's, then it's all you. <clears throat> so. Yeah, people are here for the challenge. They're not here for us. They're you not know? here for, they're not here for they, this guy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but right over here, you can see this challenge tab. Uh, so essentially, I love this, by the way. So this kind of fits with kind of kind of what we're doing, I guess. Okay. Uh, so the future is yours. You need to create uh, and share sort of a three-plus screen interactive prototype that will debut in 2050. So it's an app of the future, which is super cool. An app of the future. Yeah. An app of the future. So in 2050, you have this app. Uh, you're using XD, and this is kind of fun. You just need to use a gradient tool. So this gradient tool is kind of neat. All it does is just allow you to pick gradients. So this is uh, UI gradients. You can see, actually, I think if I refresh, it will give me a, uh, maybe not. But you can obviously. It's a smart. It remembers the last one. You made. Yeah, maybe that's it. But anyways, you can go through, uh, sort of pick, <coughs> I don't know, martinis a little bright. That's an a, app that's of the dope. future. It's uh, Ooh, I like that last one. Can you combine I multiple? I kind of like this one. Multiple gradients? You uh, can. Multiple colors? I'm just kind of copying. I'm copying this hex color right here. And then if I go into XD, uh, and again, I'll just do this for the background. Clicking right here, I'll just paste it right in here and make it easy that Boom. way. Boom. And, uh, oh, I probably screwed that up. But anyway, so drop in the hex. Oh, yeah, the hex color there. And then uh, I can copy that one. And paste that in. But in the or future, or you can actually just do that. You can actually just download the um, JPEG as well. In the future, we'll, we'll just be able to say, "Copy, do it yeah. for me. Do what I ha what I'm thinking yeah, right now." Yeah, exactly. You just you're just thinking it, and then it yeah. happens. Uh, I, I wonder I if in the future we're going in. to even have UIs. That's a good point. We could get like a blank UI or something that's voice controlled or something like voice that. Voice control, Total. mind control. Total breath legit. control. You, you control it with your breath. <sighs> mm hmm. Could happen. <laughs> it knows what you want before you even know what you want. Yeah, no, there's there's, there's some some crazy stuff already out there. Have you seen like stuff where you can control UIs with your with eye tracking? You know, like it, it kind yeah. of like predicts that you want to grab that thing over there. Anyway. Yeah, that'd be really cool. And so I think this is a good chance for everybody to be just like super creative with what could ha what their app can do. Does it does it allow you to teleport and just like has yeah. one button and <clears throat> teleport me here, voice activated. Super fun, just has to be three screens, use a gradient. Again, to be honest with you, we're not really checking to like, we want you to use this gradient tool to find something. 
but ultimately we need to see, see some gradients. Yeah. Because we like gradients. They're hot right now. We get it. No, I no, love these. I love this color combo. Yes. What, 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 what colors are these? Uh, this, I don't know. This is like a sand, sand. going to a teal. teal. You know, I guess it's very beachy. So, so yeah, it's like beachy, like uh, poolside. You put a little bit of uh, like chill tropical music. Yeah. With this. Because that's where I'd teleport to. I'd yep. say, hey, teleport me to the beach. Beach waves, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, gradients are uh, are hot, but I, I would say it's just, uh, you can you can also use gradients not just for, for aesthetics, you can also use them to uh, in a functional way. Like for yeah. example, in a button, if you want to add a little bit of depth to make the button stand out, mm -hmm. you know, you add a little oh. bit of depth and, and you you make it look like they're slide, you know? Exactly right. Uh, you, you're right, and I think I think seasoned designers use gradients very subtly. Very subtle. There's a fine just, art. Just a little bit, yeah. There's a fine art between cheesy and like between really elegant and eighties <laughs> and eighties effects. I'm, I'm all about the eighties effect, though. If, yeah. if if you can nail that effect, um, I I will applaud you. Uh, and again, I know it, I know it's feeling like a nightclub right now with all these gradients kind of sliding through. Uh, but essentially, that's the challenge. 2050, fancy gradients, some dancing, because why not? Maybe yes. maybe the chicken dance later. Later, yeah. though. Um, later, looks later like you have we'll some do. things planned for us, my friend. Yeah, so uh, it's a little bit, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, we have a, a, a challenge for ourselves. Okay? Like so, it. But before that, let me uh, just, uh, for, for those that don't know me, Hi, just a little bit about myself. I'm Pablo, Pablo Stanley. Uh, this is the third day we're doing this. Uh, so third day I'm talking about myself at 9 a.m. in the morning, but it's okay, let's do it. So uh, I am a designer. He's changed things about him each day. Each day he's from a different country, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what to believe now. I'm like, is that even your real name? Yes, <laughs> that is. Uh, that's another, that's yeah, another story. Uh, yesterday it was yeah. uh, Francisco. Uh, two days ago it was uh, Jose. Mm. But so you yeah, are a designer. I, I am a designer. You wear I, the fancy glasses, just like I, the I, little emoji just, shows. Just like that, uh, 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 that emoji. That's that's me. It just needs a little bit more hair. I'm still waiting for for that emoji. Uh, I do illustrations. I do. Uh, I, I like like drawing. I like putting uh, those pixels together mm -hmm. to make little faces. I, I, I love just making faces. Uh, zombies too. I love these. <laughs> And this yeah. next screen just blows artsy, me away. Artsy. So you do this stuff too? And this this stuff too. This all this was made in, in Photoshop. So I, I, I use Photoshop too to just uh, Sick. put together cool uh, digital paintings or whatever. And you also use Photoshop uh, to uh, create comics. It's something that I that I really like. Uh, just writing comics and, and telling stories. Mm -hmm. uh, which uh, and I also have this series called the Design Team .io. If you're a designer, uh, I invite you to. Uh, to read it, probably there's something there that you can relate to in these the stories. And if not, well, that's okay too. Uh, uh, but uh, I was actually thinking the other day that I think uh, uh, comics, uh, like uh, understanding comics and understanding how to create comics and or even reading comics, in, in a way it's very related to uh, product design or what we do as designers. like. Uh, design uh, screen designers at mm -hmm. least where we connect different different states you know where we, we create a flow with we, we also tell a story by connecting different uh, 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 states of, uh, of of a flow or different things so for example uh, a sign up flow you have to think about uh, what is happening on each state and and in a comic you have you kind of have those limitations too where you have like a you have just a little square where you have to tell without sound because it's just not a movie without mm -hmm. uh, without using too many words because again it's a, it's a comic just using a, a, a drawing and a minimum text to say what is happening in that specific frame you know and that's as product designers we have that limit limitation of a screen too and I I, I sometimes like a compare to also to that, that limitation. And then you have to say what is happening and how is the character feeling and in and, and that same way, how is that person that is using your app or your website, how, how do you want them to feel when they look at this, you know? Um, yeah. and, and with limited uh, amount of time, media, 
Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm doing it's a comparison. True. I'm trying to make a comparison with making comics or understanding comics with product design. And, yeah. And, and, or with screen no, design. It actually, no, total, it totally works. Because <coughs> there's, there's basically like a super loose structure. Like yeah. at, at least for, say, if you're doing an app design, like this is your structure. It's just mm -hmm. this. this. Yeah. And again, is the equivalent of a panel. Yeah, exactly. And like even in comics or graphic novels, as uh, Benjamin points out, it doesn't even have to be a square or a rectangle or anything. It can get kind of crazy even beyond yeah. that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least uh, here we have uh, that limitation of this uh, uh, frame, but but we can do crazy things with it too, you know. And uh, think yeah, I like it. So box. check out the design team <laughs> dot, <Yeah>. dot io. <laughs> Super cool. So check that out. Yeah. Uh, and to answer someone's question up above, uh, this app of the future, it's an app as if you lived in 2050, um, just so you know. It's not uh, It's not an app that showcases you know, how that works, even anyways. But so yeah. it's, uh, so you, it's as if you live there. It's something you use. It's 2050, and how are you going, what app do you need in this time? Yeah. And also, what are the problems that you will be uh, uh, having? To Why would you need an app? Right mm -hmm. in 2050, that's the problem, right? And it could be, it could be an app. Maybe you have an overlay over your retina. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So this, hmm. we, if you say screen, is is this screen something that again overlays over glass? When you wake up in the morning, it's your mirror kind of turns into something. Oh, I see. An interface could be anywhere. So yeah, we're not yeah. necessarily. It's totally up to you. Yeah. You know, what? there are no wrong answers with this, by the way. <laughs> Somebody is going to just give you an artboard, blank artboard, and, and it's going to say, "Well, it's all voice activated. You don't see. There's no UI anymore." And I'm going to be. Like, I know, but like get, get, uh, again, we're uh, so yeah. So, Pablo, <laughs> you are the you are you are the judge. We'll get these narrowed down. Yeah. Okay. Well, enough about me. And um, uh, but but yeah, I, I look forward to seeing all of your. Uh, uh, it's, it's been really fun to see all of the, the, the things that they put together in so little time. It's mm -hmm. so, so cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Oh, you're putting a, Welcome back, comic. Gabriella. Yes, good to yes. have you here. Gabriela. And Mitch and Marcin. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, um, so let me just talk about uh, our project today, what we're going to be doing today. Sounds yeah. fantastic. So today, uh, so yesterday, let, let's first talk about like what what we did. Uh, yesterday, we did uh, a tab navigation for an iOS app for actually for Carbon Health, the startup where I work, uh, and it was pretty fun just using mm -hmm. XD and putting it together. And it was like a real fun. world, you know, project. We were yeah, on, this so. is something that uh, we're actually redesigning the navigation and rebranding of our app at Carbon. Uh, so those two projects, the web landing page, which was yesterday, and the tap navigation, those are things that we are probably going to be using at least as expo explorations. So it, it was pretty fun because uh, I get to go back to uh, the office and tell them like, hey, look at what we did. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and today, we're going to do a scientist card game. I don't know what that is. Perfect. I'm going to explain a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this was uh, this was on on Tuesday. What we did the iOS app. This was uh, yesterday. We did a landing page. It was mm -hmm. pretty fun. Just yeah. putting it together. And you next did the into. you worked on the illustrations. Yeah, too, we did so. the illustrations using Adobe Draw, and, which is a, a, an iPad app. Yeah, and uh, just so you know, if you do click on the actually, if you go to YouTube, uh, Adobe Creative Cloud, like subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud. That's where these videos are archived. So you can check those out on the band later. Yeah, scrub through it, see it all happen. Yeah, correct. And and also, you get the assets of these two practices. You can download the, the, the assets, and if you want to do them yourself, too, and follow along. Um, and then today's menu. So as I was saying, we're going to create a, a, a card uh, building science uh, app, mm -hmm. app because uh, uh, this is a fake app, of course. It's a kind of a game. And because uh, in, in memory of Stephen Hawking, yeah. Uh, they passed away yesterday, so we we thought of hey, let's do something where we involve Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Yeah. I see Hawkins. Hawking. Uh, and, uh, and and where I don't know, like something where he is and probably other scientists too, Mary Curry, probably Oliver mm -hmm. Einstein, and just like a card building game. Mm -hmm. This is so nerdy, right? How nerdy is that? It's like Pokemon, it's so but nerdy. with science. It's like Pokemon, but with, with scientists, yes. with famous <laughs> scientists. <laughs> so so today we're going to check, uh, check why, what, how, uh, just to understand what are we building, and then uh, really quick, an information architecture of what we're going to do, see a sketch of wireframe that I already did, 
uh, and then start putting uh, also some inspiration from other apps. Mm -hmm. uh, I put together some uh, some even cards like baseball cards and, and 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 also like basketball cards, like physical cards, okay. and from Pokemon and from other games. Uh, and see what we can grab from those. As we can use it as a mood board. Well, more like an inspiration. And then we're gonna work together. You're gonna uh -huh. help me using the I am cloud. going to. Yes, my friend. You're going to help me uh, collaborate with uh, different images and, and, and finding different information. That's gonna be fun. And then the three things that we're going to create, hopefully we get to do it. A card profile from a scientist with their bio and their superpowers because mm -hmm. they have superpowers, my friend. And also a card index. You get to you you get to collect them all too, like different scientists. And, and then, then could you like could you trade them to? Yeah, I, 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 don't, we, know. We I can, don't know. We can we can talk about the little details later yeah. uh, when Thank we you. do our, our VC funding, <laughs> uh, depending on what what they need. <laughs> and that's it. Let me. Uh, oh, and yeah, follow me on that thing. Yeah, follow him. So, uh, what do you think? yeah, does that does everybody like the idea? Yes. Uh, Famous scientists uh, card game essentially science battle app. I love just the whole it's idea. Science like battle name. app, and the why is uh, we want people to get excited about science. Yes, you know that's the purpose of this uh, game, and it's a card collecting game where you battle other players using a formation of scientists with different mm -hmm. powers, <laughs> and then you you build the powers. You know, like uh, they have to uh, you have to use those scientists. To actually get in, in a different level, and then how a player collects and powers up different scientist cars, they use and can create a formation. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you, you put together different scientists, and sometimes they collaborate between each other. You know, mm. like uh, you put Stephen Hawking next to Albert Einstein, and they get like mm. a, a, a really cool general relativity with uh, the whole idea of black holes and Stephen Hawking's uh, radiation into a superpower. Anyway. <laughs> Sounds really cool. I'm getting cool. too excited about <laughs> this, right? <laughs> yeah, then, so open ideas. A uh, famous scientist that you'd like to see in a card. Yeah, that we'll, would be good. Uh, we're looking for ideas. We're looking for some collaboration with you, Depika mm -hmm. and Anita and Lauren. Does that work for you? We're doing some zi some science, Paul yes. Brophy. The, good to have you back, buddy. It's going to be card collection. That's one of the pages with all the index of all the different cards that you have collected. Mm -hmm. The card profile with their BO, stats, power details, because, oops, sorry about that. Power details, because each uh, each scientist mm -hmm. has a power and then a superpower. Interesting. And cool. then evolution level, and then battle, so you can battle. We're not going to create these, but let's just use it, make the tabs. Okay, uh, yeah. But we will create a card profile and card collection. That works. Cool. And I then I, I put it. together some information, this is Stephen Hawking, his power is going to be the Hawking radiation. Oh. And then his superpower, where he, he doesn't get to use it too much, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, his power, you get to use it a little bit, but then the superpower is you build up and then you use the superpower as the grand mm. unified force. I even brought you this, by the way. So you can do some research. Bring us some science. I brought <laughs> him, you his, uh, his book, a briefer history of time because there's the Ooh, brief yeah brief history there's of time. the brief history of time and then there's the dummies version yeah <laughs> this is the it. one that I got uh, and I highly recommend it it's also from uh, it's from Stephen Hawking uh, but he he uh, made it a little bit more uh, yeah. con condensed version, smaller more condensed like for, version for mortals more accessible <laughs> and also it's uh, uh, I think the original was uh, released on the, in the 80s, and this was released in early 2000s. Okay. So actually, it, it brings the string theory and other theories. It's, it's uh, uh, updated. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it. I, I just like, yeah, go and, and get this book. It's really cool like if it. you want to narrow it out. So you're going to help me because we need yeah. some images and some stuff. We're gonna, that. we're gonna, and we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn oh, today. Yeah. We're not oh, only yeah, learn baby. UI UX XD <laughs> and science. Science. Add electricity. Okay, effects. cool. So, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, which if and we'll we giveaways. The by the way, <gasps> Oop. giveaways as well. So we'll give away the pillow. It's gonna be fancy. Uh, yeah. Let's see in about uh, forty minutes. And there's also the challenge. Yes, and uh, this, uh, let's, let's try to do also Mercury. Mercury, yeah. okay. her power is radioactivity, and her superpower is the combination of polonium and radium. Oh, really? She discovered those. Did she and, really? Yeah, and, and she discovered that Didn't they were like... did she discover... Um, well, at least she uh, discovered that they were like even uh, higher than uh, 
than uh, than uranium on radioactivity uh, level. So uh, she was like, "Oh my god, this is super powerful." Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, and then Albert Einstein. And, and then if you have suggestions, please tell us, like, who should we cover? Who should we uh, put there on, yeah, on, any, on the roll of decks? Any of other scientists? ideas? If you have uh, your, maybe you have a favorite <clears throat> scientist. Yeah. If you so, don't, we hope you do after uh, the app's made. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, <clears throat> I do have some assets. So I have some assets, uh, yeah. and I, I gave Gus uh, a link to those assets. So we have some icons that we're going to be using. Uh, on SVG, and I have put together some uh, uh, images and some Ooh, stuff. Tesla. So if you wanna, if you Sorry. if you wanna follow along, oh, oh Nikola Tesla, that would be cool too. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to keep this open, and should we just start? Should yeah. we start doing this? I think so. Let's just let's get down to work. Realizing I have my messages oh, open. I have all of this oh, open. Let's just go. Let's go there. And let's go ahead. And I just switched it on us for a second. Oh man, I'm so excited about doing this. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm going to do. Well, I have. We have an idea. Let's, we do have an idea. All right. I'm, I'm, switch back. This is going to be a mobile app. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to start by. Uh, uh, I did a wireframe this morning. Just a wireframe of what we're going to be building. Always uh, start by putting something like this together, you know, just to sketch something on a whiteboard, on paper, before you put anything on, uh, on, on the pixels on the screen, try to always start with something like this. It, it will save you a lot of time because if you want to start doing this here, it, you're going to get lost. Here you can, you can erase, you can ideate, and it doesn't feel like you're investing too much time in it and, and, and you get to try different ideas. Anyway, so this is what we're doing. It's three taps. First step is the one where we have our collection of different uh, cards. Those cards are different scientists, so you can mm -hmm. scroll through them. And then you tap on one of these cards, and then you get to see the details of that one. So for example, this is Stephen Hawking. We get to see a photo of him, super cool. And then we get to see the level where he, uh, where the, the scientist is at right now. And then probably some stats, uh, like a, like uh -huh. the, on physics, on chemistry, okay. uh, on medicine. What are their stats and what are the, and then their powers. So for example, he has the, the Hawking radiation is one of his powers and then the, his superpower is the uh, unified uh, uh, theory of, of energy. Uh, and then you tap on it and then you see the power and what mm -hmm. it does, like details about the power. Very cool. Is this like the nerdiest thing? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is like I'm we've, so we've, we've about this, dude. a new level of nerdiness oh, today, oh, oh, like so. that we've never reached on a yeah. on Adobe Live. Um, you know what? And we love it. <laughs> we should uh, we should start by using the iOS. Uh, uh, yeah, and just I was to speed thinking up the process. I, I think so too. Not like iOS, whatever it takes. Like iOS, there's other kits out there if yeah. you want to. Because yeah. there's some cool ones as well. Yeah. So, that's what, so what I'm going to be needing from you, you is this for this stuff over here or Rolodex of different scientists. Mm -hmm. It will be great if you uh, we start a Creative Cloud cloud thing where we share images. Yep, and, I already started. And you put start putting together images of different scientists. You got it. So yeah. I, it might be something, I'll, I'll work on that. Yeah. But I'm basically going to be using um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna actually like start out using Adobe Stock essentially. So I've actually oh, okay. like already, nice. I, I've kind of already snagged this. I don't know if I want this, but you know, I'm, I'm I, we, I know illustrations. I, I, I can, I, I don't have to. I think I'm it will be cool if we get like uh, actual photos, uh, actual photos or, or paintings, because some of these uh, scientists probably they're they were old, <laughs> they're too old, and we don't have photo of them. Uh, but but yeah, so because this photo is going to be used on their profile. Mm -hmm. screen and also on their cart, the little cart. And there we go, there's there's Thomas Edison. Cool. Nice. So what I what I actually did is I've already I can actually uh, save a preview or license and save this to uh, this folder called scientists. Boom. So that's the Creative Cloud library. I'm saving that too. I'm gonna okay. switch back to your screen because what's happening now, go right up here to the Creative Cloud desktop app. Go and then to, I have a notification. Yeah. Here. Oh, there you go. Accept it. Accept Should it. I decline no, no, no. or accept? accept? It. accept. Please, please. Uh, let please, people decide. Please, please, please. <laughs> okay, accept. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to see all of the images you're adding. Uh-huh. That's dope. That's dope. Thank you for all the uh, the, the suggestions. Custo. Um, was, I saw the Wright brothers. I saw Edison. Of course, Tesla. That's dope. Uh, some other names that I wrote down as well. So thank you for those suggestions. And then from here, can I, uh, how, what am I going to do? Am I going to go over here to? Uh, go into, actually you can go into the, uh, XD, go to file, to yeah. the CC libraries, open CC libraries. Oh yeah, baby. And you could do the same thing in, in Photoshop oh, and true. Illustrator, but. And just a scientist. Scientist should be. <gasps> so there's That the, is so cool. I know, so it's it's gonna be really awesome because, it, and not only that, then, the, the stuff's I, gonna be linked. I can just like, bow baby. And look, so see how as that it's linked. So if I happen to update that or swap it out, we'll be good. That so, is, yeah. Okay, that is super cool. Oh yeah. Let's see. Okay, Raster, cool. Vector. So, so you do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna start with uh, iOS. Uh, I'm going to close this, but I'm going to start uh, opening a UI kit, the uh, Apple iOS one. Ooh, let's do the Jessica. I love Jessica's suggestion, the caveman who discovered fire. <laughs> <laughs> let's just have like a generic caveman in there. Because he was like, he was the cutting edge guy of the day. <laughs> and he like invented the spear and fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he... Like just, just eons ahead of everybody else. Yeah, everybody, he, he must have been a very popular... Uh, a dude or woman. Yeah, or a woman, who, thank you very much, yes. Who discover fire. <laughs> um, I think I'm just the only... Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to, see, I'm, I'm already, I already have a tab. I'm, I'm so fast, right? I am so fast. You will think I am fast, but actually what's happening is that uh, I use the iOS, uh, the iOS UI kit, and that yeah. really speeds up the process. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Even for, uh, I was thinking about like some of the progress bars and things. Like if you could use another UI kit, <coughs> so or you can just make them. So let me start creating my uh, my tabs. Oliver Sacks, Elon Musk. I like you. El I like I like Elon Musk. I like from Caveman or Woman. Yeah, they don't have. They can Musk. be uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Thank you, Tim. That's good. Uh, yeah, they can be people, uh, current Newton. people, right? It doesn't have to be uh, old timies. Old timies. Uh, old timies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so help, help us out with some of these people. I don't know, like Die Glock. I don't know who that is. Uh, 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 Victor per Petrick. I don't help. You gotta dumb it down for us. In some yeah, cases. yeah. Yeah, it will be super helpful for everyone. Just like, a, hey, you drop the name, and then you tell us what this person did, actually, right? Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Anita. So, uh, Warner Von Braun um, started NASA. I don't know if he's the original sort of like, I don't know what you say, founder or whatever. First president. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So I'm going to start adding colors, actually. Start adding current to going to start creating my color palette. <laughs> What's going on? Jim Jim has a great suggestion. You just throw in Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. Oh, okay. Sheldon yeah. Cooper. Uh, <laughs> I haven't watched that show in a long time. Yeah. It's, uh, it's funny. Some people don't like it. Some people are, are like I, I admit are like haters. I am not I am not a Big Bang Theory fan. I don't like it. I'll just say that and probably make enemies. I, uh, do you are you a fan of the theory though? Oh, Big Bang Theory, um, like the actual scientific. I mean, uh, <laughs> sure. I don't want to get all controvert. I think that gets in a little controversial, like you know, area. I'd what? rather just talk about the show. Yeah. Hey, what do you prefer? <laughs> Which icon do you prefer for the battle tap? This one or this one? What do you? What do you? I think I think that uh, lightning bolt's probably going to be used elsewhere. Yeah, okay. That's my only concern with I Technically, I like it better, but I feel like we're going to use that other places when we're talking about power and things. So I I, that's why I think it should probably be the It could be confusing glove. later. Like, hey, yeah, this I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I, I like it. It's okay. I mean, oh, we could use this one. Just like Karate Key. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Battle. <wha! laughs> I like the idea of just like, Bow, you baby. know, Einstein. Yeah, let's make it a little <laughs> bit bigger. So it's just like... Does that, Prasad, does that work? Do you like the, the guy kicking? Whoa. Let's center it. 
There you go. And and this is uh, all vector, by the way. So everyone has access to these uh, assets. I don't know if uh, over there uh, probably is being shared on the comments. What, what, you, what's that? Sorry, I missed it. What Quest. Were you? Quests? Oh, so I was thinking that uh, it, you can also go on quests. You know, okay. you can uh, build your cards and find new cards, and probably you can uh, go on a quest of Einstein uh, 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 trying to prove general relativity, or probably uh, Mary Curie discovering uh, different different uh, elements. And it's just like a mini quest, you know. And then after that, you get a power, you get a superpower, or you uh, you you advance your level. Mm -hmm. Am I? Yeah, no, that's I, good. I'm, I'm, it's it's all in my head. It's all making sense. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I think we just roll with it. Let's this roll is with good. It. Uh, uh, in terms of resources, you again UI kits, especially for the challenge, you have access to these UI kits and everything. And uh, yeah, and, and, and use so the. Because it, it, just like it speeds up the process a lot. Uh, going to actually use this one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to over here. Bow, baby. And so. Sylvia says she loves your illustrations. I assume uh, she's talking about you. I'm sure she is. Uh, I'd have to agree. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's really nice of you. Thank you. In terms of the assets I'm locating, I'm getting like black and white, like photos, um, and sometimes like well, wood. Well, you cuts. gotta gotta use some Photoshop and make them look cool, man. Oh, huh? oh, next you level. Can apply a, oh. You can apply one of those gradient effects on it and just do a duotone there. <laughs> I want to give them like a little bit of a scowl, like um, who is like this is Isaac Newton, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna make him look like really tough. Maybe he has a like. <laughs> maybe he has some black under his eyes or something like that. Or he's like band aid or like he's been in a fight. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, I like maybe it. not. Uh, why not? Hello, Ariana. Good to have you here. I don't think we've seen you in a bit, but uh, welcome. It's been months, I think. And Lex is in the house. And thank you, Lex, for dropping in and saying hello. Lex is actually one of our guests from 1 to 3 p.m. today. Lex Valashvili. So you'd always click on his name, check out his work. He He's always like, oh, don't look at my portfolio, because I'm, I'm too busy working on real projects to update my portfolio. Oh, right? yeah, That's yeah. That's typically yeah. The, yeah, the case. That has, yes. It is um, a, it's a thing, right? It is a thing, yes. And uh, so again, we we'll just kind of click through the schedule really fast while you're. Oh wow, you got some cool so stuff. So I got too. some inspiration stuff just to see how others are doing. By the way, uh, you, Pokemon. You, you do your thing. Star We're gonna, Wars thing. I'm gonna go over the schedule right now. So again, we got Michael Pablo. Jordan. Hour and a half. We have uh, hosted by me. Then we have Alice Scalfi, hosted by Mark Ryzen. Then there's Lex from one to three p.m. And then Daniel Musa from Ukraine with Michael Shea. So full day, but this is. Super fun, this first segment, since we're working on um, science yeah. cards. Yeah. I'm realizing that this is uh, probably, it's, good, it's a good start, but I should do uh, something more fun, you think? Don't you think no, of the color? Uh, well, I don't know. I have no idea. You know what? Let's know. keep it like this, and then we can change it later. Yeah, I uh, feel like we need to kind of get some of the structure down, and then... Yeah, because actually, you know what? Let's... You keep the UI super subtle and super uh, uh, toned down, and that way the photos will stand up. They stand out, right? Yeah, uh, exactly. Up. Like the photos that you're going to paint and, and you're going to apply super effects, right? Right? Super fun. I have Newton, Marie Curie, Thomas Edison. We need Tesla as well. Let's get Tesla. Uh, Okay, I'm going to start creating the first card. Uh, we're going to create a grid here. Uh, we're going to be using the repeat grid. So, but let's just start with just creating one card and then we repeat it across. What do you okay, think? Okay, perfect. Yeah, probably a three column grid will be good. And, and let's uh, just going to do, start with a wireframe super quick. And probably, uh, should we do the level? Like probably uh, like indicate what is the, the state of this. For example, it's 20 slash 250, which is the the main power overall power of this uh, of 
with this card. I'm telling you, man, we're getting super nerdy. <laughs> yeah, we are. And then it's going to be hockey. Example. I was going to be make it a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger or a little bit uh, at least bold. Uh, change the font a bit. Uh, let's use a darker color here. And uh, can you add multiple fills here? Uh, you can't add, no, you can't really add a fill on top of a fill. No, so, but I can add a, a gradient on top of this with, just like create a different shape that has a gradient. Right? Yeah, exactly. And, and if you do, B, yeah. And then, for example, this one is going to be a, a gradient. So instead of solid color, it's the linear gradient. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, man. And then yep. you can say that this is this goes from black to black. Where we'll, what we want to do is uh, we want to make sure that there's enough contrast between the text and the background because the background are going to be images and these images yeah, can be green. can be all different. You know, they have, they have different colors. Can have uh, some of them can be white, some of them can be black. And you want to have your text always uh, have enough contrast so you can read it easily. So that's why we're going to be adding another uh, another gradient on top of our image. What do you think, man? Do you agree with that? I, I agree. You did a, again, a command D, which is like duplicates that initial shape right on top of the first one. And then it changes the, the gradient to in zero. There. So it goes from black to black, but the opacity over here is zero. And then let's actually change the opacity of the first one instead of 100%. Let's make it uh, 60%. So that way, and it's, this is going to guarantee me that this has a, a always. Perfect. Has, yeah. What's yeah, that? yeah. Oh no, and and like as you go along, like you could always like save that gradient. Uh, like if you want to save that stuff in your assets panel, you could always like change it later, make it brighter or darker across the board. But then again, then you're going to turn this into a repeat grid anyways, right? Y yes, it's going to be a repeat grid. But I, I do like your idea though. And how do I I go yeah. over here? Right here, just hit the I, plus for colors. Uh, uh, colors, yes. Boop. There, you, there go. you go. Oh man, thank you. I, I forgot about that. It's really important also to just save your styles so you can reuse them later, you know? And, and then you, if you change it, it changes everywhere else. Let's see if uh, our sizes are, are right. One, two, three. I think we can actually go a little bit a little bit wider with these. So let's, uh, let's make them a little bit wider. Uh, it's also it's always good to align to pixel grid, you know. Let's uh, make them have a separation of eight pixels between them, and then we just uh, center them. Uh, I just want to get the sides just right. I should be doing math, <laughs> but apparently I'm not good enough. Let's uh, 112. That's going to be our uh, our size of this. Let's test it out real. Ooh. This out real quick. One. You can use three. the the repeat, repeat grid, right? right? If you want to, and that'll make sure even. Yeah. Boom. And you can always break it apart. Yeah. And then, then roll over there. Yeah, there you go. Eight pixels. There you go. Yeah. So I'm I'm liking this. This I, size is good. I I agree. So uh, Anna Vasquez, great great point. Because even Pablo mentioned that it's like you kind of want to have a gradient on top of a fill. Which excuse me. Yeah, exactly. Great on top of fill. You want to have like multiple fills, scoot yeah. down multiple shapes. So these are great suggestions. I know tomorrow, I'm not sure what time Talon's going to be on. Maybe Gus knows. But um, uh, 1 p.m.? 12. So 12 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow, you're going to have the XD team uh, essentially um, live streaming. So that's a perfect opportunity to be like, hey, I want this. But you could also go to help, give feedback in XD because we want to capture all the comments. I need a photo of Stephen Hawking, man. Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, I can help you with that. A really cool photo of him. Okay, you, you you help me with that, and then I'll uh, I'll start making my grid. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to group this and call it... Uh, I'm going to move this over here. Then I'm going to call this my cart. Oh, card. So excited, man. Tell me, I want to see it live, this updating automatic, yeah. automatically. Um, we should see, see it refreshing. I just added it, by the way. Oh, there see you go. On, see, I didn't do on anything. On mine, and now 
I didn't do there anything. It, it just added. I literally just dropped it. Boom, so. baby. We're on our way, folks. Let's do this. This is dope. Okay, cool. So we have our first card. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. It's a group. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's just start adding. Let's make a grid. It's a repeat grid. So this repeat grid is going to be three. And uh, who let's else make do it uh, eight pixel separation. And then just go like this, eight pixel separation uh, vertically too. Dude, it's already looking good, man. I'm really excited about good. this. Let's make it all the way down here. Arif, if you're missing the menu bar, I mean, are you on uh, Windows 10? Because if you basically right click, you'll get through within that contextual menu, menu you'll see help go to give feedback. Then we can start changing this. So you have uh, all our scientists there that you have been adding for me, right? So let's put Mary Curry there. Yo, what happened there? Oh, I can I can license it for the if that's a problem. But it does every third one is what's happening. Uh, uh, so why do all the I guests this, this week have accents? Mr. Director is asking. Not if you're from where they're from, then they don't have an accent. Then that person doesn't have an accent. If somebody's tuning in from Mexico, they're like, you don't have an accent. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Am I talking crazy? They, you they're saying you that I don't have like, an accent? No, he's saying he does, that why does everybody have accents today? Oh. I was wondering. I, uh, and I, was I am from Mexico, yes. Smart. Um, okay, cool. I'm probably just infecting you with my accent slowly. Oh, that would be cool. But I, I can't mm. even like fake accents. It's okay, horrible. cool. Uh, Man, I'm, I'm needing photos there. I, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm running out of I'm, photos I'm, already. I, oh, wow. Where's, what's going on? Uh, You're supposed to be helping me Warner here, man. Warner Von Braun. So I have the Wright <laughs> brothers. Oh, Tesla. Did I did I drop in Tesla in there? He should you be there. You haven't dropped Tesla, but it's he okay. Should, he should can... be there. Is he not there? Uh, oh, probably he is. Oh, you know what? He is in black and white. Do we have Newton? Newton, maybe he's in there? Newton. That's how you would say it. It's <laughs> Newton. <laughs> Sounds yeah, so Newton, cool. Edison, Hawking, oh, yeah. Tesla, Marie Curie. You're right, uh, Tesla. Uh, Who else? Who else? I need more names. There's like the 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 Wright brothers. Somebody mentions, but uh, I mean that's Edison. I need a I need a, a Albert Einstein there, man. And, and we need more oh, women. Oh, Einstein. Need more women scientists. Women scientists suggestions yeah. always open. Jane Goodall, thank you. Uh, uh, let me get Tesla or, or uh, Einstein. Einstein status over here. Let's copy this. Let's put it over here. Dude, we already we can we can already go and, and pitch this idea to someone, man. <laughs> what do you think? Let's uh let's get some let's get some money and, and just like build this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yes, because it's that easy. <laughs> this is going to be one of the ones that, like, even um, even after the stream, you're going to want to continue to work on. Yeah, I, I seriously fun. will. Uh, and and by the way, it, this is more. This is going to be more of a wireframe because the styling is really uh, gray, and I'm just using the UI kit from iOS. But I will probably change the color of it. Uh, I will make it. Pr I will probably use a dark UI, you know, on it. And but let's not do. Let's do the wireframe first, just a, a very basic, and then we can change the colors later. Okay, cool. So we have, I'm going to start making the profile page of Stephen Hawking. So I don't want this. I'm actually going to delete this. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it over here. This is so cool, man. I can just use this little guy over here. Uh, Sally Ride, we have Marie Curie in. Um, I added uh, Jane Goodall. She's, I don't know, she's um, like an anthropologist, but yeah, scientist, which works. Nice. Uh, so fun, I like seeing all these names. Sally Ride, just doing some research. Sally Ride. I don't know who, who that, is that is. Yeah, don't just leave the name. Tell us oh, what they the, did. She was the American physicist and astronaut born in Los Angeles. She 
uh, became the first American woman in space in 1983. Dude, so cool. And I think that was... That must be super cool, man. Imagine that. Sally Ride. Thank you so much for that. Good call. Appreciate it. What's up? They're all going to be black and white, too. It fits the uh, wireframe purpose for today. Uh, Jan Janaki Amal, thank you, Mayor. I'll just do a do some research there. So yeah, as a as a joke, we should add Bill Nye or Sheldon. I get it. I get it. Ooh, Ada Lovelace. Lovelace. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what about uh, Grace Hopper? Ooh. Dude, this is looking so dope. Dope. Science. Science. <laughs> uh, let's use this little guy over here. Boom. Copy. And then boom. Boom. Paste, boom baby. and boom. Marie Curie, thank you. Got her. We Fantastic. Got her. And the cool thing is that once we make one, we can start adding different ones, you know? Uh, that's, that's what's going to be dope about this. Let's go with Stephen Hawking. Clemens is back in the house with all caps. Welcome. Uh, let's see. What about, is there any, uh, like, Mexican scientists? There's, uh, I, I should know this, and I do not know. And, and I'm embarrassed by that. Mario Molina, there's a Rene Collin, George Rosencrantz. Quite a few here. I a lot of artists. Um, That's true. Let's see. Catherine Johnson. Okay, Stephen Hawking, and then he is a astronomy, astronomer, physicist. Ooh. Physicist, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm writing this wrong, so help me out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is where we get like everybody's gonna you know become a copywriter and help uh, easily help us. Ooh, you could just Thesis, yeah. Physicist. <laughs> <laughs> we need a it's not okay. Easy. I, I, am I the only one that? There you go. So I just copy this. Oop. Sorry. He's, uh, there you go. And then I'm going to copy the this stuff. Oh, I'm, right now I'm in Albert Einstein. And yeah, man, I, for those that are just joining us, we are making an app, a game. It's supposed oh, yeah. to be a game that, uh, where you uh, build uh, cards and you uh, uh, of sciences, different sciences, and it's a card building game. Is that how you will call it? Uh, hola, Luis. Yeah, it's a it's a card game. Yeah, it's a, you know it's a it's honestly like it's like edutainment because everybody's going to be learning, as well as like having fun, having fun learning about the scientists, and it's going to be good times. So that's cool. Uh, I'm going to keep it at sixteen. Let's change the. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, auto height. auto correct and XD would be good. Yes, I was. Everybody's so that. smart here. Like everybody's blowing my mind. I'm learning so much. I think we get. Do we get college? I feel like I should get college credit for. <laughs> everybody gets college credit. Two college credits for attending today, because <laughs> we're learning about science and UI. Yeah, man. Okay, cool. So we have uh, Stephen's uh, bio. And it's probably taking too much space, so probably we can do something worse, like oh, general, and then uh, something like dot dot dot, you know, like read more. And then, can you change the style of of, uh, of a specific one here? You should, yeah, you're able to change, yes. Oh yeah, baby, let's do it. Boom, and that way it. it doesn't grab all all of this. Now we can start putting a, a little bit of, uh, we can make this a little bit bigger. What do you think? This artboard. 
Yeah, you can make it, we can make it, yeah, scrollable, longer. It's good. And yes, if you're already a college grad, you still get, you get, you get credit in the school of life. <laughs> and then this is determining where, uh, like the viewport, right? The size of the, of the viewport. Yeah, you can, so you can grab and adjust that. That's essentially, there's a number in the properties panel, but that's a new, a new feature, being able to adjust. That's sort of like the fold, if you will. Yeah, I see. That's, that's dope, man. That's dope. Oh, oh, Wes, Wes Sly, slow clap. Nobody's mentioned Carl Sagan, so that's good. Oh, Pasteur, Darwin, thank you. Good, good. Um, yeah, Carl Sagan was cool, man. He, uh, he made uh, science accessible, you know, like uh, trying to explain to all of us mere mortals a little bit of, about a, uh, what science who is all Stephen about. Hawking? Or uh, well, Carl Stephen Sagan? Hawking too, but Carl Sagan, yeah. He, uh, I don't know, he, he was the one that started that first show that now uh, Neil deGrasse uh, like, Ooh. Uh, does. Okay. What is it, the name of the show? Uh, Cosmos. Huh? Cosmos? Cosmos, yes. Nice. And he also uh, was a heavy drinker and loved Cosmos too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, he, I don't know if he. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Oh, uh, man. Sorry, that was <laughs> dumb. So, uh, <clears throat> so let's do uh, a little bit of uh, it, their stats. So the stats are going to be a different. <laughs> that was his <laughs> after hours show. Cosmos. <laughs> we were talking about just making cosmopolitans. Yes, cosmopolitans, <laughs> baby. Yes. He, that was his drink. All right, Carl Sagan's in there. Michael Faraday. Oh, Faraday. Who's Faraday? Dude, and, and, and imagine this game where you actually get to uh, combine different powers from different, collaborate different scientists from different eras. Darwin uh -huh. with, uh, with Einstein. Mm -hmm. And then they get to create a super cool thing when you are battling someone else. You know, I'll get, uh, I'll, I'll try to grab, I'll grab Neil deGrasse Tyson because again, we want to get like I just put in Faraday, who's, gosh. Anyway, so it will cover all generations. What we're trying to do, you know, we're gonna get some wrong. We might disappoint some people if we don't include your favorite. I'm, I really apologize, um, but at least we will have. Uh, can somebody help me? Hey Paco, I dropped my pillow. I dropped my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my pillow. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Okay. So yeah, uh, maybe if we don't include your favorite, maybe you could at least win a pillow, which is right here. This is going to be again uh, in about eight minutes. Fancy XD pillow, just to like lay down. Think about the stars and the vast universe. And who would win in a fight, Einstein or Carl Sagan? <laughs> so there you go. We're starting to uh, put the stats of the uh, of different abilities. You know. Boom. <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Someone is uh, no. suggesting something weird. We're not getting into. Weird stuff. Politics. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Director. Yeah, sure. So Neil deGrasse Tyson again. Like that's debatable. We can probably debate about a lot of these people because, like, what did he invent? But at the same time, like, I think his sort of education meter would be like really high for educating yeah. the general public. He, yeah, he's like a or he's a communicator. Second. Like you know. he, like, yeah. So anyway, so I, you know, it takes all types of people. You know, the people to invent it, the, the people to get the word out there. Like Carl Sagan. I don't know if Carl Sagan really invented anything, but he's he you did know. some research on. Uh, ooh, if I were to change the size of this, it changes everywhere. So then I have to ungroup. break it apart. Yep. Break it apart. <laughs> Goodbye, baby. And then now I can say. There we go, Mitch Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astrophysicist. Yeah, and, and they do some writings too, and some of the stuff is, sometimes it's just the... Uh, and uh, I think this is the goal. The goal of the app is to educate people about scientists and these and these people in history, you know? 
Yeah. Uh, so that's the big thing. So it's like if you did go to Carl Sagan, like he might not win the scientist battle, for instance. Yeah. But in terms of letting the public know who he is, I think that's the goal of the app. Yeah. I'm ju- I'm trying to justify putting everyone in there, basically. <laughs> So I'm putting the different stats. Oh yeah, Tim Berners Lee, good one. Paul Brophy. Slow clap. Oh love it. Like the inventor of the internet pretty much. And let's oh, not really? let's yeah, I mean, kind of credited with invented in the, inventing the internet. It's best known uh, yeah, best known what? as the inter- <laughs> uh, yeah. Computer scientist at the University of Oxford. Dude his is like uh, his stats on astronomy and physics are all the way up boom for uh, Stephen Hawking but on the uh, on zoology and medicine they're really low yeah <laughs> and chemistry just a little bit and biology just a little bit there too so so but he has other powers you know and, and you have to when you're creating your uh, formation of different scientists, uh, your group, you have to put someone there in medicine. That way, they can help other. Uh, uh, I don't know. So you have a good team. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm I'm, I'm ready to do this. Thank like you, a, Oliver. Like we got Edison thing. in there. So now let's do the. Uh, uh, we're going to build the the powers, the power cards. I love how everybody's like getting like super intelligent like right now. I'm feeling a little dumb. <laughs> Mayer goes back and does some research on the pillow. <laughs> so we're very much in a learning science mode right now. <laughs> we know who discovered the internet or who uh, who created the internet. I don't know, created. Started the World Wide Web. Learning about pillows. So. <laughs> Adobe Live pretty much sums it up. <laughs> Everybody Googles famous scientists. That's what he's saying. Everybody, <laughs> everybody basically is like, Google famous scientists. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but this is good because like I, it's just discovering. You I, know, I, I Darwin, don't care no, thank go- you for that. You're, I don't care Bjorn. if you're Googling. At the end of the day, hmm. it's going to be in your mind and that's the interest is going to be. And now Google will refer you, uh, now has you in a list that says like, oh, this person likes science. So I'm going to suggest some science stuff to this person. So yeah, I don't care if you're Googling, that's great. Mm-hmm, all about it. Thank you for the Darwin suggestion as well. So this is good. And feel free to just remind you of the challenge going on. You're gonna be making an app that you'd use in 2050, 2050. Just check out that challenge tab. And you'll be using a gradient creator. So there you go. So we have our stats, we have our powers, we have bio of Stephen Hawking. We should have a level, you know? Uh, at, at what level is this? Uh, like what do his, you think? His should overall sa- power? His overall power, okay. man. Because uh, it, there's an evolution to these uh, cards. You know, it's a, when it's beginning, and then it gets to intermediate powers, and then it gets super powerful. Mm-hmm. You just max out all the uh, different. You know, it'll be really fun with these. With the well, we'll get to the design later. But yeah, I guess is it just like one power bar? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. maybe the, it, it, you don't even have to name it, or you either say overall. Um, yeah. But yeah. Now, now I'm thinking that this should be center. If we're going to be adding a, a power thingy, this probably should be center. The the title, and that way we. Uh, we put the power bar here below. Yeah, I like that centered. Well, yeah, that's good. So right now we're just starting with this. So it's twenty-four out of uh, two fifty. That's maximum power of uh, Stephen cool. Hawking. And put, say that. Uh, what do yeah. you think? Should we do bold on the power, or should we do light? <sighs> like, is it a is it a bar or is it numbers? It's going to be a bar and a number. Oh, just okay. to be very cool. precise. I like you know? it. You you want to. You want that precision. So probably we do this. This is small. And then we can go a little bit more into detail of the powers and how to up your your powers later. But this is more like an overall on top. I like it. And then, and then we'll can get, we can get into the particulars of this. I'm really excited. I'm excited about the design of all this. 
Thank you, Nathan. Reed Richards, if you do throw a name out there, I don't, I don't know uh, Reed Richards, so a little descriptor there would be helpful. Yeah. Doctor uh... Doctor Stephen Strange, Nathan puts in there. It's like Marvel, Doctor Strange. But thank you. Uh, what did I see? Um, John Warnock, Chuck Geschke in there, like the founders of Adobe. <laughs> It'd be good for my career if we put those in there, or our career. <laughs> we like here at Adobe, <laughs> we like drop in the founders of Adobe. There you go. <laughs> Turing, I got Turing in there. Mr. Fantastic. Okay, we're good. We're getting a little off the rails. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Oh, what, what's oh uh, some, good call, Andrea. Uh, somebody did mention Ada Lovelace, and she's in there, so thank you for that. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's really good. Here's my two cents. You want to? Okay, yes, please. A couple, couple things. Uh, for those, since the theme is all about gradients, it'd be <gasps> fun to have gradient, like, go from one color to the next, if you're talking about design. Are we talking about design right now, or what are we talking let's, about? Let's, uh, yeah, 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 anything. Uh, yeah, I, I like, let's, let's use the gradients, baby. And we can, uh, always save that in the assets panel and, like, change it later if we decide we don't like it. I see. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to go to linear gradient. Yeah, and, and then, then go from like one color. Yeah, there you go. One, one, one corner to the other corner. What yeah, kind of like a power. So it goes from like yeah. a yellow to red or something. Like this. again, that's what I. Those are the colors, and I think of power. <sighs> Going to go. Daily uh, giveaway coming up soon. Uh, what do you think? I'd like something like that. Nah, I'm colorblind, man. So I need your help. Uh, that uh, that's a that's uh, what do you get? What, what does everybody think? You know, like that? I like that gradient. I personally do. It goes from cool to hot. We go from like white hot. But it's this like, is the thing. What I, what I would do now is go into yeah. yeah go, go over say, here to my click, components. Yep, boop, and then and then add it. Add boop, it. And now select the others Oops, and then select. add it from there. Boom. And I can just drop it too, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it? It, it looks like it added. It looks like you have to adjust the, like, position. Ooh, okay. Each time. All right, Nathan digs the gradient. Really appreciate that. Um, what if? I'm and so what this. we're doing here, Ahmed, by the way, is like as soon as we get these added, it seems like initially a little bit of work, but they're all tied back to that gradient, so we could change it from, from red, red to an orange or whatever. Mayor actually wants orange, so noted. So I'm going to actually change this to gray. While you tweak that, I think we'll do the Pello giveaway. Does that work, Adobe Live? Adobe Live is a works. real person or persons. I like to think it's about 20 people, because this one, one man does the work of about 20 people. So um, that's what we're going to be giving away is this fine Pello. Again, one size fits all. Regardless of your head size, it's super comfortable. Just be active in the chat. Be like, ah, oh, I want a pillow that says PX or XD, right? Hola, Pe pelo por favor. And uh, do you laugh at my Spanish? No, I, I'm probably it, horrible, like white boy Spanish. I really apologize. No, no, it's, it's be cool. active in the chat. Let us know that somebody's at the other end of that keyboard. So if we potentially announce your name, you could respond. So pillow. How do you say pillow in Spanish? Uh, oh my God, did I just forget? Uh, almohada. almohada. Huh? Yes, thank you. Um, almohada. 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 <laughs> oh, this is comfortable. It's, I think it's filled with money. It's Me? filled with money. It's not filled with money. But it's, it's like a piñata. Nice? You can, you can. <laughs> it's candy. It's just going to be candy. Inside. Hello, Felicia. Good to have you here. And just by adding that comment in there, you've entered to win this pillow. So, the uh, Adobe Live Bot Five Thousand will go through and select a name to people that have been nice to him. No, it's it's actually random, but we appreciate kindness. Just like anyone, we're human. We're human here. And looks like we've done our background research on this person. 
and we have their name. And it looks like their name is right here, Rafael Caba. Rafael Caba, you are the proud owner of a fantastic hello. That's good for your head or your feet. Really, we it's yours. Um, maybe not this exact one. We'll get you a fresh one. But Rafael, congratulations. Don't worry. Uh, we will uh, give away an item for each segment. And again, this is just the first segment for the day. And don't forget about the challenge. In case you didn't win the pillow, you can always enter the challenge, which you will win when you're Creative Cloud. Okay, I updated it. So now Sweet. we have all the, uh, and I made them a little bit smaller. I think it was, I started with them being too tall. Um, oh, sorry, I, I interrupted you. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. About it, was, the, it was like perfect timing. So I was yes. excited about the gradient plan. I wanted to tell you all about it. I like it. So if you, and then if you right click on that, you should be able to change it if you want to at any time. No way. But I like how you're like, I'm making this decision. This is my app. I'm Hold on. I right click, edit, and then let's say yeah, that you can tweak those. instead of that color, I want to go like that. Yeah. Oh my God. I do not want to go, that, <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool yeah, that I have uh, a yeah, power Yeah, I gotta have that. Um, you could change it from, ooh, try linear, change it to, go to radial. Oh my I God. I mean, there's radial. <laughs> uh, anyway, for what it's worth. Oh, look, dude, look at that. How cool is that? Yeah, that, that does look like that, power. That could actually, yeah, and I think everybody's gonna share their opinion on the colors you pick. Myself included. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So probably that feels more like power to me. So I'm going to actually go with something like reddish over here, and then like purplish around here. Ooh, I like how subtle that is too, though. Huh. Just like that. What do you think? I think it's cool. Yeah. I love how subtle it is. Okay. Well, people are going to to tell wow. us what they think. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now. I need uh, I need images for the powers, man. So Ooh, Stephen Hawking let me help you. has two different powers. Uh, his powers are, if we remember correctly, is Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation is like a is like the he theorized that there's radiation coming from black holes, uh, and, and and the different effects it has, like when it's near the near the event horizon, that point where you cannot come, come back. back from a, uh -huh. from the black hole. And you're just like, you will get sucked in. Uh, and then also the grand unified force. Uh, this uh, this theory, he wants to find quantums, uh, 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 quantum physics and general relativity, uh, something in between, because right now, uh, the math over here for general relativity and the one with quantum physics they, they don't match. It's just okay. like it's almost like two different universes. Hmm. Uh, well, general relativity, it, 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 it's with strong forces and, or probably I'm, I'm getting it wrong and it's, it's the other way around, mm -hmm. but we're talking about planets and the Big Bang. And then over here, quantum is like a, the atoms, the, uh, the Higgs bos boson, and, mm -hmm. and just like really tiny things. And those, this universe, the tiny universe and the big universe, they don't match. There's not a, a unifying theory uh, for both of them. And he wanted, he was championing, he wanted to find something that unifies everything. And that's going to be mm. his superpower where he uses quantums and general relativity. And I can already see the animation oh, yeah. of Stephen Hawking <laughs> with, uh, with, with his wheelchair, just like, you know, like flying up. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So I need two images. I don't know. Find something. A black hole for for this one for the Hawking radiation. Do you want uh, like a photo or more like like a, an, know, an a image? Something that we're going to be using on the on the power card. And then grand unified force. That could be also like a space uh, or probably like a Higgs boson. <laughs> boson Higgs boson. I don't know how you say it. I don't know. Uh, Higgs boson. Uh, uh, that could be a, a, the collider. That could be one. Uh, I don't know. Find something. Yes. All right, you got it, your my friend. Man. I'm gonna do photos. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Photos or, or mm. illustration. I don't know, like whatever. Uh, yeah, Adobe I think we need. I think we need you. some stuff like this, my some, friend. Some some space stuff. Yes, black S hole stuff. Space stuff. It is. Yeah, baby. Yes. 
We will again. We don't claim to know anything about science. Oh yeah, we like for are the record. horrible at this. So I'm sure everybody is like, even everything you were just saying, they're like, well, actually, the blah 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 blah. You're probably right. <laughs> oh yes, uh, we are wrong. <laughs> but that's the purpose of this game. It's just like to actually learn. You know, the, you know, one of the things that I that I realized uh, we're good uh, at being uh, wrong and uh, being corrected. Uh, one of the things that I've realized in, in life, it's uh, when you want to learn something, uh, try to teach it. Yeah. You know, try mm -hmm. to tell someone else, teach something to someone else, and then that will force you to understand it so well that you're going to be able to tell it to the other person, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. for, for me, I will have to understand really well uh, uh, the life of Stephen Hawking, his studies, to be able to create a game where I'm featuring him, you know? So that forces me to, to learn uh, on something that I really like. Uh, and, and then I'm able to share that learning with someone else. And I invite everyone to do something like that. Yeah. To learn, to, to learn, force yourself to, to teach. And then you're going to learn. Yeah. Oh That's my really God. Good. There you go, just put us a quote there. We're getting, we're, get, we're getting all learned all up in here. Do we have images now? <laughs> do you have something for me, man? They, oh, you're funny, Felicia. Uh, yeah, oh no, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, I got, I got a job to do. Okay, you, you did add a black hole. Yeah, like a and I'm just gonna do, one. I'm gonna do just a, like a lot of, I'm doing, trying to get some power things. That's and cool. planet type things, and things that look like they're something very scientist-y, <laughs> right? Yes, very scientist-y, that's the correct term. And let's, again, so uh, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go for quantity at this point, just okay. to give you enough selections like yeah, to yeah, yeah, work yeah. with. I like that. So yes. over here, I'm going to go back and then I'm going to say Ooh, Hawking I found radiation. A good one. That's cool. I got a good one coming your way. Hawking radiation. That's his. So uh, actually, yes. Somebody mentioned we might have whatever 2,000 people. That's awesome. Good to have you here. If you are new to joining us uh, on Adobe Live again, Behance.net forward slash live. Let us know. Would love to know if you're a new, if it's your first time here, or if you're it's just your first time using chat. Be like, hey. I have a keyboard, and that's how this thing works. We'd love to hear from you. And say hello, that's the big thing. That's, uh, that's cool, man. I, I love this. Christina uh, Kaiser, hello, Christina Kaiser. Christine, you've been, you've been here before. Good to see ya. DeAndre, hello. First time, or you're just saying hello, we'd like to welcome you. Uh, Gabriella, it's uh, your fourth time here. Good to have you back. Fantastic. We love having you here. And it's always it's fun to see familiar names because I work from home and uh, this is the uh, this is the only interaction I get usually on a regular basis is with people through a screen. <laughs> Ileana, is it your first time? Ibrahim's in the house. Said, hey, uh, good to have you. Yes. Uh, Ileana Colazzo, it is your first time here. So we give you a warm welcome. Let us know where you're from as well. If it's your first time, let us know where you're from. Because uh, sounds like a, I don't know if it's sort of like a Spanish last name. Ileana, yes. Ileana. Love that name. It's Ileana. a very beautiful name. Uh, okay, this is not the prettiest. This is the first revision, okay? Yeah. Uh, so I'm pretty sure people are cringing at this. Uh, sorry. Silently judging the design. Yeah, they're or not so silently. But let's uh, let's take it as a, just the first iteration. This is a wireframe, my friends. Okay. Welcome, uh, Leila from okay. Barcelona. I, I'm Barcelona. excited to see what you have for me. I'm just dropping some images in there. We'll get some. Dude, this looks fancy. powerful. I'm going to do this one. <gasps> this Ooh, one, this is fun. <gasps> Gravity. Ooh, wow, this is cool. I don't know what it means. And again, we're using Adobe XD. Allows you to design and prototype. So we haven't even gotten into the like the linking and all that stuff. Hey, Edward, you were at the Creative Jam in LA. That was just two weeks ago. Wasn't that wasn't that a good event? Hopefully, Edward, you enjoyed it. Because I know I did. What 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 was it? Sorry. Uh, so we have Creative Jams. Adobe, you can go to adobecreativejams.com and uh, basically the live events that we put on in various cities right now. Uh, I know my coworkers in Philadelphia, they just had one last night. 
and I'm not sure where Liz is, but we have them all over and it's basically, we get to hear from professionals like you that speak Oh, and then cool. designers, like they're working on this challenge right now, they'll do that live at the venue. So we'll give them a theme. We'll be like, uh, design something around space travel or something fun, whatever. Yeah. They, design, they have three hours to design and they present after you're done speaking. That's they present cool. live. So, so they're like, they, and, and the audience, like if you just want to kind of check it out, you, you can come in, watch them work, yeah. hear the speakers, and then see what they came up with. So it's super fun. I, I love that, man. I love that... Uh I like that uh, there's some doing and making there involved, that it's not just like hearing someone talk. Yeah, know? and it's not only doing and making, uh, trying new things, and then public speaking, because everybody has to get up on stage. That's, it's very important, <laughs> as a designer, it's very important for you to be able to defend your decisions, to talk in front of people, to convince other people of what you're thinking, and listen, listen to the feedback, and, and, and be able to take it and then change. It's really important to be able to to to, uh, to talk in front of people and, and yeah. learn that skill. I, and that's been the most impressive thing for me is to hear just to hear designers present. It's changed my opinion of their design. Like I will like some people to be so good at presenting. I'm like that's the one I vote for. It's almost because you like them as people. Yeah, to be honest with you, like we don't we don't make logical decisions as as humans. And 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 you know so, so that. That tells you how important it is for you as a designer to not just worry about learning how to use the tool or how to create something that looks good. You have to also defend it and you have to convince other people about it. Because what mm -hmm. if you took all your time creating something beautiful, but up there you, you're not able to uh, to say why you made those decisions? People are going to be like, well, I cannot defend it. I cannot agree with that because I don't know what you're saying. So yeah. it's really important. And I used to not think that, by the way. I was like, I, my design should be able to speak for itself. But I like learned that, no, you need to kind of explain why you do what you do, yeah. you know? It's, uh, it gives yeah. you a whole other appreciation for the work, I think. Correct. And you know? so, okay, cool. So we have a superpower, and the superpower is, this is going to be the Grand Unified Force. Copy it. It's pretty similar to the other one. This is going to be called Superpower. Uh, this one is a 20 out of 80. See, we're reusing stuff. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we're going to use uh, XD file, open CC libraries, and then let's see that image again. Image. I know I don't say image. That, Let me know if we. Right do way. you need. Like, ha, just let me know how else I can help you. I'm just, if Good. you need me look to shift a little bit. We have the power force. Ooh. We have the, uh, and let's, let's look back at our uh, wireframe. Let me, uh, let me delete all this stuff. Maybe I'll go small. I'll try to find some, Dude, like. Look at this. It's pretty pretty similar to what we were thinking in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know? How Stephen Long, like the profile with the different powers, different stats, and then we have uh, the power. Uh, the actual power when you tap on it and you want to see more details about it. I think the power should be a card that you open it and it takes full screen, you know? Instead of uh, having the tab navigation. Um, yeah, this way when you yeah. tap on it, okay. it's, uh, it's going to be super big, you know? Just like this. And it's going to be coming from, from above, you know? So probably, uh, you even close it instead of this. Yeah. We do okay. a rectangle over here. Probably, uh, let's say that it's uh, four pixels and then no border. While, then... while you do that, yes. Mansi wants to know how we're sharing these images. I'll kind of go through this while you make that X. Is that cool? I'm going to show them how libraries works. Let's go ahead and do that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please. Just because I'm like, pretty get, sure people don't want to see me doing this. No, they do. They're here for you, by the way. But just to answer that question, so here I am. This here I am in Photoshop. I have the CC Libraries panel open. So I've just created a new library, and then I went over to Collaborate. Once I've selected Collaborate, that's where I enter uh, Pablo's email address. He gets a notification. He accepts it. Once he accepts it, 
it appears in his Creative Cloud. Yeah, so over here on File, I open CC Libraries. And I open then, that, and then boom! I just go here, select the one that you created, Scientist. Yeah, and I'll even drop. It. I'll drop another one in. We'll, we might even see it load at the top. Okay. Another one will like hopefully come in. You just dropped it. Yeah. So see so, how the little spinny wheel yeah, is like going? Yeah. Here's loading. Yeah. There you go. And there's the. I didn't do anything. Again, you just saw that on my desktop in Photoshop, and that's how it works. That's that could be like vector, and it could be colors and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. And and to do that, also I have I had to accept over here. Because I got a notification that said, hey, uh, uh, Paul is trying to share something with you. So I had to first, first, accept first yeah, the invitation. Yeah, he did. He was like, yeah, I was like, do I? And he finally accepted. I don't know, man. There's a lot of weird people <laughs> out there. So you know? <laughs> uh, there you um, go. I have my close, that, that's a big ass. <laughs> close back Mayor house. wants me to put some infinity stones in there. There's some of the. <laughs> I'll try that out. This should have been two pixels. Let's align that again. <laughs> yeah. Let's align this. Are you into? Sorry to change the subject. Do you like comics? Like, do you? Are you into like superheroes and like Marvel and all that stuff these days? Or mm, I, I like the movies. I haven't ever. I, the only uh, I think I mentioned uh, yesterday or where, when did I mention? I really like. I started. I just started. Reading comics, I just I started. Yeah, that's this that's kind of what I was thinking about. This is super new to me. Uh, I I've been writing comics for some time, <laughs> but not reading at all. And then somebody asked me the other day, it's like somebody that knew a lot about comics, mm -hmm. and it's like, hey, you make those comics, and he wanted to nerd out with me about comics mm. because he assumed that I read comics, and I felt so embarrassed that I that I hadn't read anything, mm -hmm. and I was like, hey, sorry, seriously, I. I never read a comic, uh, but, and I felt embarrassed because like, who, mm -hmm. I'm writing comics without knowing the art, without having a context of how to create, uh, how to follow the giants, the, the, the people that have been making this for so long. So, so I started reading comics and, and have recommendations of the stuff that I know. And I would love to know your recommendations. Uh, one is uh, Scott Pilgrim. I read it's 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 a whole it's it's like a graphic novel I guess it's six books it's amazing I loved it if you love it and if you like the the movie you will love the, this because it's a really great adaptation of the of the comics books I actually finished that and then I went to watch the movie and it was amazing amazing experience uh, Hellboy uh, I started reading Hellboy too and he has some and, and this is this is more of a, a shorter comics. And, but there are also compilations of those short comics, and and that uh, that is great for. Uh, there's also a movie, of course, uh, and it's a Spanish uh, writer and illustrator. He's amazing. Uh, and another one, I also started Walking Dead too. Oh yeah, and Walking okay. Dead for yeah, the show. Yeah, the comics. Okay, gotcha. And and then I started comparing it to the show. And I realized that it's totally different, and I got mad. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I got mad at the show not being uh, similar to the comics because the comics are super cool. Uh, hmm. So, and, and and it's also like I got the the books, so I got like a bunch of those, and I started reading those, and they're amazing. It's a lot of drama. Hmm. It's like ten percent zombies, and then ninety percent drama between them. It's, yeah, that's ninety percent drama between the humans. Yeah, <laughs> and even you know, again, coming from them and watching the show, like that's m what most of the action is is between all the, all the adults the, and the zombies. Humans. They happen to fall on the hands of. They're the in the background. Zombies. Yeah, it's, it's just a reminder of or. Uh, that's so funny. I just started getting into comics too. I was in really? Portland this weekend and went to a comic book store. I got like I'm really into Thor right now. Oh, so really? I bought a bunch of Thor comic books. Oh, dude. Realizing I bought like the fourth in a in a series of six, <laughs> like so I'm not I'm starting like in the middle of half of these. Yeah, it, it's really hard for me like uh, to get into like for example a, 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 a superhero that has been like comics for such a long time. I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I know for example Batman. There's I should have uh, brought. Them. I literally have them at the hotel. I should have brought them in because they're gorgeous. Like from a design standpoint, yeah. an art, like an illustration standpoint, they're amazing. Comic yeah, books exactly. these days, by the way, amazing. Okay, just I, absolutely amazing. So I, again, and I'm and amazed. Like I was telling before, it's a great source of inspiration uh, uh, for for how to uh, tell stories and how to uh, solve problems because uh, whoever is designing these. Uh, 
things and, and is putting together the words and the illustrations in, inside uh, different frames, they have to solve that problem. How are we going to uh, tell a story that is uh, believable and in these uh, cartoons mm -hmm. and, and these illustrations with this limited media? Anyway, what do you think? Yeah. Should, I think it's looking should, really good. We should create a prototype, huh? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's create a prototype. So, oh, by the way, you, you What's you nice about more. all this, by the way, because as I look at it, as I see them all tiled in that grid layout, like I can actually adjust the, I, I can make all these photos look similar, have give them all a similar tone. But in all I'm saying is they came from the Creative Cloud Library, they're linked to it. Yes. I could do those updates and it's gonna refresh this, like not gonna worry um, or stress your process. You don't even have to update anything. That's, that's I put some dope. infinity stones in there for whoever said that. I was like, infinity stones, <laughs> just because they were cool graphics. <laughs> Dude, this is starting to look super dope. Yeah, I gotta. I kind of have to go through and give them an all sort of uh, all the same tone, uh, same weight. Yeah, as you so, look at so them. they all look uh, similar, right? Yeah. So yeah, some suggestions. Yeah, it looks like somebody says they're they're not crazy about the pink lines. Yeah, the great thing is we could always adjust that. <laughs> like yeah. I think the issue is that like one line is blue and the other ones are pink. So you probably want some color consistency there, maybe or maybe I, not. To be honest, I, I'm not very uh, I'm not crazy about them either. Yeah, if you're not, but you just it's you so do what cool you need because to do. we can just change it right but away. But change it. Uh, all right, you could to do a that. gradient. Yeah, I was thinking you could have used this panel. Uh, oh, okay. So let's undo it uh, one more time. Do it one there more time, and then over here I go to edit. edit. Cause yeah, they're, we, all, they're all tied together. So this looked like this because we just wanted to to go crazy with the yeah. gradients. Uh, but I would recommend being a little bit more subtle with your gradients. So probably even even like this. And I actually want it to be a linear gradient. There you go. So it's starting to look better, right? And uh, I don't know how it's coming through on the stream. Like it's really subtle and nice here. Um, so yeah. there you go. Again. I don't know if uh, you get to see it, uh, but that's the. Yeah, it's very. Uh, uh, I don't know. Hey, I'll... by the way, you mentioned Rocky Rourke earlier. Actually, yesterday he's in chat. Welcome, Rocky. Good to have Rocky. you here. He's an amazing up, illustrator. Whatever yeah. Rocky says, if he's like, hey, kind of likes the lines, I, I would, I would roll with it. Whatever yes. you say, Rocky. Whatever Rocky says. Whatever you say, right? You're the man. Uh, again, this is this week is UI and UX design. Next week is graphic design. Uh, every week oh, we dope. have something, something new and something fun. So uh, somebody mentioned, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Draplin, Aaron Draplin. We'll probably have Aaron Draplin in too. Just what? give us time. We'll easily have Aaron I'm a fan, in. Fan man, yeah. that's cool. I'm applying yeah. also, look, that gradient, I'm applying it also for Ooh. the active state. Uh, Into it. What do you think? I, I do like adding, I, I love the black and white photos and the pop of color. I think it looks super hot. And then I also apply that same gradient over here, applied it over here too. I don't know if there's enough contrast. Hopefully there is. Uh, you want to Ooh, and time check. I do apologize for not kind of, but right below me, zoop is the challenge submission deadline. So you have less than two minutes to get your designs <gasps> in. Dude. And it's looking pretty good for you um, if you enter something in, because we don't have a ton of entries as I look. So oh, really? They all do yeah. that at the last minute, man. They do, so I'm kind of keeping an eye on that. Okay, slide left, and then let's say that this one connects over here. Dude, super quick to create the prototype here. Oh man, you're. That's just, this Translate, is good. slide up. Let's test it out. What do you think? How do I set that as my home screen? Okay, cool. Uh, I don't think I set it as a, a scrollable, so probably want to set it. Yeah, you can extend it down, and it's it already should scroll. Now you can just adjust the artboard size. Yeah, that that yes, and. So you're doing the repeat grid, which is fantastic. <laughs> That's good. But, and then there you go. Now also now that, yeah. Also yeah, you got it. And then what you happens do, to this? Can I fix this? Yeah, you can't, you can't do a fixed menu bar. That's number one on the list of, of things that. to add. So just put it at the bottom. 
Okay, let's put it at the bottom, baby. All right, welcome Graham Brown. Welcome back. Glad you like the technical improvements. We're always trying to get better. And uh, trying to add value to your life. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, cool. So uh, there you go. Now let's, uh, let's test it out. Is Ooh, this also vertical? And uh, Mansi, yes, good point. We'll talk about that, sharing the design with your developer. We can do that a couple different ways. But yeah, let's yeah. go ahead and check out the... Let's preview it. Okay, preview. I can scroll. Mm -hmm. Let's tap on this. You see Stephen Hawking, all his stats on physics, astronomy, <laughs> and then his superpowers. He has a power that he uses often, but mm -hmm. then he has not the... that often he gets to use his superpower, which is the Grand Unified Force. And then here's the details of the Grand Unified Force. I totally forgot to do a backlink here, but you can you have just... You the close. Uh, the close would do it. Uh, oh, by the way, you don't even need to close that. Yeah, exactly. perfect. You don't have to close this, right? And yeah, then, uh, let just me just go to prototype and then say back over here, right? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just drag it to the back screen. Yeah, to that screen. No further. For, go, go to the screen. Uh, this right? One? You want it to go back there, right? Can, is, is there a way to say back to the previous screen? Oh, yeah. Just click on the release and just click on it. And then here is really then useful. And then choose an artboard, previous, previous artboard. artboard. Previous artboard. And then that will make, create an animation in reverse, right? So now, boom, baby. Let's test and it, it again. Reverses it that. Reverses that animation. Okay. It's dope. Yeah. That's it, man. I, I, I mean, I would love to keep playing with this. Here, let's do this. Since it's looking so good, let's. Oh, I really want you to publish that and share it with the world. Uh, let's do previous artboard, and then. Let's, let's test it out over here. I don't even have to close this screen. I really like mm -hmm. that. And then I always do by it's a bad habit of mine. And then we uh, open the power card. We close it. That's what I like. The, the grand unified force. Yeah. <laughs> cool thing is that now that we have this uh, this thing, I can just duplicate it. And for example, do the one with Mercury. Just that. No, we're not going to change the stats. Let's just change the name, Mary Curry, and then change the the photo. Just to uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to you put a photo Super of her easy. here, right? Open CC libraries, and then uh, this is the 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 creative the the cloud thing that you created. Let's put Mary Curry. Where is Mary Curry here? Um, this is her, right? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, oh, I can license her. Not, uh, Let's center her and license her. I can do that. Yeah, can you center? Oh, that will be a good uh, a good show of how it's updated. Yeah, so right over here, all I'm gonna do, going to do is crop, crop this. Her. And uh, is that it? Is that all I need to do? Save it. Oh, so let's save. Um, I'm glad this happened. So I'm gonna save this. We'll go back to your screen. This is the thing. This is yeah, the, this, this is, is what I want. This is how sm smart yeah, Dude, it is. High five. <laughs> Sorry if that's loud on the mics. Teamwork. Teamwork. That, Teamwork. That was impressive. Makes the dream work. That was really impressive. You're yeah. in a different computer on Photoshop, saving a different file, and then I get to see it updated. Mm -hmm. That gives me that confidence that Let I can work even, on a wireframe. Yeah, she looks like, is that, okay, it looks like she has a, that's a tint of orange, like a sepia. I'm updating it right now, and it will actually change. Uh, it, it. And it's going to be boom. It just oh, there did. You, it. Go. you see it? It was very subtle. I made the change in Photoshop. I didn't do anything. Things. I just, magic happened in front of my but eyes. But take any, and you take full credit. You could be like, yeah, look what I did. Oh, yeah. Look, I didn't <laughs> you, even touch it. I and you too can take credit. It's uh, Your coworkers' credit for what they do. <laughs> okay, now let's, uh, I'm going to link her here. Did. So, so cool. And this should already has a back button. Let's play it. Bow. Actually, I, will, I want her to be, uh, I want this uh, to be not slide up, but slide left. So there you go, slide left, and then go back. And then this is not her superpower, but let's say that uh, later I can update it. Wow. Yeah. So this let's so show dope. let's show people how to publish that out. Uh, create a link to publish prototype. Yep. Save. We need to save this. Oh. Oh. By the way, if you have uh, if you have a, a, a link to the science assets, 
Uh, Gus is going to share that link. Uh, let's save it. What should we? Science, yeah. <laughs> science power game. Kind of stressed me out that we didn't have that saved the whole time. It, it's. <laughs> but that gives you. A, it's a demonstration of how stable uh, XZ is too, because. I didn't have to worry too much. Yeah. About uh, cool. So uh, that, that that file is saved there. Now let's export it. Let's uh, go to over here. Yeah. Publish prototype. Publish prototype. So this is what we want you to do. By the way, we'll review some. We're going to re review some entries. Really, one entry. Uh, but this is what we want you to do for your challenge: is create that link. And, and what, this is what you'll send through. And then create a public link. Yeah. And I also want to show Rocky this as well, because I think he could use this for his illustrations. Yeah. And now, um, uh, yeah, you can open just link. Open. And it just opens the browser for me, and I can test it out. You can... Uh, and, and I can share with anyone else, like, like you were saying. Uh, not while we're on your screen, but yeah, here it is. We have commenting on the uh, right side as well. So this is a good way to see what everybody thinks. So I want to give everybody this link and 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 and, and they can add comments or whatever. Yeah. Uh, get so. everybody's feedback. This is like our first time through this. And all you have to do is like copy that link. I'm gonna just actually let's just go right here. Okay. You uh, could I'll send email. that to yeah. me or Gus. Yeah. So and uh, while that happens Let's kind of take a look at, uh, help me out, Gus. Uh, Agonia, who's already won, actually, so that is one thing. But I'm going to switch to this while you do that. This is Agonia's design. Uh, honestly, we only got one entry in under the deadline. And they've already won. They already have Creative Cloud. So like it kind of says if you would have I hate to say it but like your odds would have been really good to get your link in in time. I hate to say it. So we, we only got have one? We only we only have one. They've already won before. We're going to review it anyways cuz it's fantastic. So even though they've already won and they have Creative Cloud probably for 5, 10 years, 20 years, who knows. Can can this um, person give it to Agonia. a friend or something? It gets too complex. Too complicated. Okay. We're just trying to give a. Let's, we're just trying to like. We're trying to do this as easy as possible. No, but but I, but I really enjoy that. I mean, it's you can say you can see that it's a chi chi right. Chi. She's doing yeah. She's doing it for oh, I don't know for the actually. love of uh, yeah. uh, of, the, of doing this and challenging herself or himself, uh, and not because of uh, the price, you know. And that's something I admire. Mm -hmm. Good on you. Good you. Okay, multiverse. Good times. So we'd love to give it to another person. We didn't get any more entry, any other entries in that were in within the deadline. We got zero other entries that qualified before the deadline. So there's no one to give it to, by the way. Like there's no one there. Luckily, there's another giveaway. Um, but we need to honor hers, Agonia's. Uh, let's kind of check out her at 2050 using gradients, multiverse, multiverse. browse or bros, however bros. you want to say. Bros. Okay, cool. Where and when you want. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Earth? To this Earth? To that Earth? Which uh, Earth do you want to go to? Let's apparently go to this in the one. future, we were able to uh, make clones. We Earth. have so many Earths. <laughs> we have 616 cool. that we know of that, that we can, that we can, it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. we can teleport to. <laughs> uh, is this, a, or, or probably it's a virtual Earths. Virtual reality, oh, Earths, maybe you know, uh, with, maybe. Uh, hey, so, so what is this? It. Is this a space travel? Yeah. Thing? So it says travel wherever you are, cool. whenever you are, That's, whenever you are. This is blowing my mind. I don't even know what that means. That means that uh, it's a multiverse app. So you're That's in why the future. Are different Earths. Wherever. Like you're going to another multiverse, another yeah. plane of this Earth. Which, by the way, I think uh, Stephen Hawking really believed in this. That, uh, multiverse. Multiverse, and there's uh, different versions of uh, infinite versions. And there's, an, there's a version of us uh, where, I don't know, you have a big hair and a beard, and I have a, a fantastic Do I have like your you. cool hair? Yeah. Can I have a, your cool hair a, in a multiverse? There's a universe where... Yes! 
Oh. We have the, the hairs are, are flipped. And I have the <laughs> illustration skills of Rocky Rourke. Uh, yes. Please say yes. Oh, yeah, that, that oh. exists. <laughs> and it's where Dana Pride maybe won Creative Cloud. Oh, wait, they already did. That is this universe, this by is the way, because they've already won. So. Okay, so multiverse, and then uh, it's a travel app. Oh, we can scroll down. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. Different. Browse, it says uh, shortcuts to those different Earths. Okay, let's. Uh... Earth 23, for instance. Boom. Earth 23. Get a summary of it. I'm like, so, yeah, it's the one where you have a. Where you don't have a beard, where you look like me or something, or I don't know what you want in that. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. It's you like a idea. Rick and Morty app. Rick have and you Morty. ever watched that show? Yeah. That's uh, pretty they, good. They go to different, uh, different um, multiverse uh, versions of themselves, you know? And, and Anyway, this is cool. Yeah. I, uh, Done so well, we uses gradients. Or what's going on? No, we just, yeah, we're just kind of reviewing it for fun. And, I like uh, the gradients, by the way. It, very similar to what we used. Yeah, I the think design-wise, I think it's really strong. I love the spacing in between these letters, the font they used. Yeah, it, it, it's, it almost feels like expanding space, right? Yes. Like it gives you that wah. Yeah, um, I agree. I would say that uh, some of the colors on the, I always say this, and mm. I'm, I know I'm annoying, but try to design for accessibility where you have enough contrast on your buttons, on your actions. Uh, for example, uh, that button, it's, it's really hard to read. You want to, uh, yes, right? The one that says browse, that's a button. And if you want to your users to, to be able to read it, uh, yeah. you can make the, the font a little bit, uh, the weight of, of the thick. font a little bit thicker. Uh, also, the contrast of it, uh, probably white instead of 90%, uh, mm -hmm. instead of using a transparent uh, font. That will bring What's the funny about up. this is even though it has misspellings, and maybe that's how you spell browse in the future. I don't know. Or in this other multiverse that we happen to be on. Oh, I thought this it was on purpose. One. I thought it was on purpose. I thought it was too. I thought they were doing some sort of play on, I don't know. Because something. we are, uh, this is the app where in that universe, but browse let's go with is that. spelled that way. We can't say what the spelling of browse will be like in 2050. No, no, no. So it's it's that like universe. Their, it is that, that universe, universe specifically. The only thing Ooh, that changed that's, is browse. That's so Ray Bradbury. <laughs> he did a, a time short story. Yeah. We traveled back in time, and then when they came back, everything looked the same, but all the language was scrambled. Because oh, wow. somebody stepped on a butterfly when they were looking at dinosaurs in the past. Anyway. What book is that? Titans? Uh, or? Short, it's like his short short stories, story? like short short tales or okay. Ray Bradbury. Anyway, done and done. So awesome job. Uh, fantastic. We did get yeah, other great entries Great idea. In, I love that idea. And uh, thank you so much. And beyond that, not to worry, we got more in from Sadia, Stephen, Bloodget. Arthur and Junior. So for the next segment, we do have four in already. So not to worry. Uh, Alice and Mark will be reviewing those. They're up next. They're right over there. Yeah, what are they doing there? They're doing their, their, their yoga. Cool. Their breathing exercises. Yeah. And we'll be up in. Paul, I have to say, I, I really enjoy this. Thank you for having me and yeah. for hosting this. And I, I, I would love to, to do it again another time. We would. I, I, I think you, I speak for the audience as well that everybody would love to have you again. You and, and your cool hair. I think that's the one thing that we would have to say is like just don't cut your hair is the only thing we Ooh, want you to okay. do. Okay. It, it's going to get okay, longer. Okay. Just make sure it isn't short. Isn't. Isn't shorter <laughs> than the because it's a very mad scientist look that yes. you have going on right now. Yeah, okay. We uh, also wanted to, I'll try not to. We wanted to give you a gift too, as well. That's oh, for what? you a little gift bag, and oh, uh, that's dope, you can kind of take Thank a look you. at some of those things. They've been giveaways. We gave away the pillow already. Oh, this is super cool. And, look at this um, it's a 99U uh, uh, magazine. It's uh, it's a dope uh, blog. I, I it's a blog, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a it's blog. A blog it's, it's actually a conference physical. that happens in New York City oh, every wow, year. Man. This uh, is Behance 99U. Let's let's look at. Can I show my my goodies? Yeah, sure. Can I? Ooh, this might take a second to open. Adobe XD can... box. Yeah, let me. With something. Let me try to help you. This and then a, a little book. Thank you so much. And and these are somebody won one of these yesterday. Yeah, so right? yesterday I'm glad you were that. So we gave away these sketchbooks, stickers. He got the socks, so we gave away socks the first day. People go crazy about the socks, man. Yeah, they do. It's, I was uh, kind of surprised, but 
Keep learning to the songs. Oh, this is nice. And See, some other postcards this. from artists, by the way. Uh, Jing wow. Wei. So we've given out limited edition posters of these this on the Mr. stream, T. too. Ooh, this is, uh, this is Rob Zilla. That's Rob's work. Rob oh, was with dude. us yesterday in chat. Wow, this Ro is amazing. Uh, by the way, shout this out to Rocky uh, Work. I think your stuff would be great as a big poster. Can you zoom too. in there? Can you do a zoom in too so people can see can, it? Like Everybody just do Command Plus in your browser. Command Plus. And that'll be the zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you could do that, if you don't mind. Oh, Thank there you, you go. So yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. I pity we'll, the fool. We'll get it in a second. Oh, there you go. yeah, you can, baby. You can, uh, the, the focus is probably still here. Oh, So now I you see. can, you can show all of them. Uh, let's actually, I want to show these real fast too, by the way. Yeah. We're giving these to you. And um, uh, I don't know if you can put them with your shirt. But these are the little stencils, basically, of browsers and uh, you know favorites and stuff nice, like man. that. This is these are gifts for you too, with a thank you so much and pencils and all that good stuff. Awesome. Anyways, all good times. Thank you so much. This is great. I'm going to uh, going to try to use it on my sketchbook, on my other sketchbook. Which is like yeah. And I'll put this. This goes in this handy little thing. <gasps> what? That's where it comes from. Yeah. I'm so happy right now. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Fun stuff. Well, we definitely appreciate having you. We still have like eight minutes, so this is just okay. kind of where we Questions? stare. It's kind of like when you say bye to somebody and you, and you walk the same direction. And you're like, <laughs> after you said bye, <laughs> like now what do we talk about? <laughs> uh, well, questions. first of all, I think this is fantastic. We want to publish out this link. People can add comments to yeah, it. Yeah, I, I gave it to Gus, so okay. Gus uh, should be able to share the link up there. And uh, again, just to get an idea for what the app is. Yeah, is so right it's here. a card building game. Scientists, where uh, they, you can, uh, uh, for example, Alice, here. Mark, have you guys seen Oops. this? You guys, have you taken a look at this? You can kind of like peek around. And... Yeah. So we just made a, a card yeah, building come on. game. You can even come on this side. Be easy. Yeah. Get the so, whole gang in. So because of uh, commemorating Stephen Hawking, we decided to build a game with different scientists where you build. Uh, cards and you power up the different uh, like they all have different strings you, ha and... you have to collect them all it's like Pokemon but with sciences That's amazing. and then uh, you for example Stephen Hawking and then Stephen Hawking I have him and my level right now is a 24 out of 250 and it has different stats What's you know this? because it's <laughs> his obviously it's very powerful physics astronomy yes. not very good at medicine and zoology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, chemistry uh, almost there, and then each uh, each scientist card has two powers. Uh, one that is like the the power that they will be using mostly. So he's he's using the Hawking and they radiation. They don't have a lot of. Well, they have a lot of those probably. They can use them regularly. Yeah, and then you can power up this, level up these, and then it has the ground unified force, which is his theory of uh, trying to unify the general relativity and quantum physics, uh, and then. You get to level up and, and use it when you're battling. Oh, yeah. Did I not say that? You battle all the people. Yeah, yeah. And you have uh, Marie we, we Curie didn't get in to there the, and that. all of that. But uh, yes. the idea is like, yeah, so his his physics and astronomy is and really then, high. If Curry. you battle somebody with maybe that's lower, yeah. he could yeah. win. There she is. Would Darwin yeah. have like a high high zoology? He, yes. He Very throws. High. Yeah. High. high zoology. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, low, throws uh, lemmings at Low astronomy. Yes. Yeah, what's his superpower? <laughs> Newton th throws apples at you. <laughs> <laughs> Newton throws apple apples. Apple powers. <laughs> his apple. Ah. Oh, anyway. Tesla's got his coils or something. But yeah, so does exactly. Jobs. Electricity, yes. That's awesome. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. You two are up next. We just have a, uh, thank you so right, much. You guys approve. Yeah, They're out. We'll be back later. <laughs> okay. Thank you. They're up in uh, less than five minutes, but you get the idea. And we, uh, you just created this within an hour and a half, which is fun. Yeah. And it's, from it's concept, fun. from your original sketches is all you showed up with. Today. Yeah. And on XC, this was our sketch. We did, I, I actually use Adobe uh, Sketch. Okay. To do this. On the yeah. iPad, I use Adobe Sketch, which is uh, similar to Adobe Draw, the one that you used yesterday, but this is in Photoshop. It's like a light version of Photoshop on okay. the iPad, and it allows you to do sketching super fast and then just export as an image, and that's why I have this. Uh, and then from there, we can compare. We have our mm -hmm. this thing, our, our Rolodex of different ones. By the way, we should put some of them, some of them should have been uh, we didn't do this, but I, I, ooh, how do I, 
That's just your artboard. You just went how do I uh, window? How do I? Ch what do you want to do? I want to see the inspector. Oh, it's, oh, I'm a you prototype. Go to design. I'm good, an idiot. good point. So you have those two different tabs. Prototype will eliminate the properties panel. Anyway, I was thinking that probably some of these, let's say that uh, uh, you don't have an image. How do I remove the image out of it? Uh, you want to take one out, you would have to actually, like, you'd probably have to break it apart. If you okay. just remove him. Yeah, because. Yeah, so anyway. You, I, sh I should be collecting them, so some of them should be empty. That's, that's the only oh, thing. Oh, so if, you, if you're battling someone, uh, with your Einstein and he beats Darwin, you, do you get Darwin? Is that how that works? Uh, well, you have to collect them in quest. I, I'm, I already okay. have a plan, man. I'm telling you. So stay soon. <laughs> anyway, I, this will, will be on that, the right? App Store. Uh, stay yes, tuned. <laughs> we are, again, looking for investors. If you're, yes. Uh, um, oh, and the back end is uh, run by, uh, what is it, blockchain. Oh, yeah. that's Just because that's, that's a fancy word that we throw out. Yeah, blockchain. It's a blockchain integration with AI, and AI yeah. machine learning and uh, yeah. <laughs> what else uh, I don't I think that's about and, it we would say Adobe Sensei and and people pay with Bitcoin uh, pay to with buy uh, power <laughs> up their cards yes there we go thank you thank you <laughs> Adobe Live so Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you this. so much. Oh, thank, you, thank you to everyone that, that came and, and just uh, from all over the world. I, I know that in a lot of places it's really late. And uh, I just want to say thank you. We and hopefully you get inspired to create. I, I love that these challenges, take these challenges and not just here, but go out there and create yeah. and make. And, and that's, that's what is going to make you a, a better designer. Just uh, uh, making stuff. Yeah, the fact that you're just getting right. down. I think people get insecure because they're just starting out. But like the more body of work that you have, the less important each one is. So just start yeah. creating, creating, and creating. Yeah. And you just get better and better and better. It's like how you get perfect is by is yeah. by mass production almost. Is that's how you get good? Is just yeah. And I will say this about being secure. Uh, one thing is that I I've been doing this for almost 20 years I've been a designer and I still feel insecure. I still feel like I, uh, sometimes I don't know if I should put myself out there. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Oh. Uh, this is something that we, uh, people, leaders, people that you look up to, <laughs> they feel insecure too. So you're not alone. And anyway, yeah. just uh, just don't let that stop you, okay? Because we, we all go through that. Yeah, and uh, again, we encourage you, like, if you're doing these daily, these challenges, like, add those to your portfolio. We, we <coughs> always love seeing, getting those links in, and it happens to be a Behance project. So turn it into something so people can follow you. You can obviously click on anybody's name, like Rocky's, which is right there, Felicia. Felicia just, uh, uh, what, actually sold her first uh, artwork on Etsy? Is that right? So that's one thing she's doing. She's kind of does hand lettering and has, has made her first sale last night. So I hope really? you don't mind if I point that out, Felicia. Congratulations. <coughs> does hand lettering, sold her first uh, first items last night. So good. Oh here. man, I, I, I love hand lettering. I, I wish I was good at that. I, uh, yeah, and that is so ooh, cool. actually maybe I could do this. Like, I can, can, can you share what she? Well, I can't, I don't wanna, okay. I, I haven't, sh I'm not gonna share what she did, but I did kind of want to go over the schedule loosely. Uh, just so you can kind of be prepared for what's happening. But we'll be down and we'll hop off in about a minute. Yeah. But and Alice is up next. Lex, Daniel, um, I kind of want to talk to you about like what's happening this week um, as well as in the next upcoming weeks. Just tune in, tune in every week. Pablo, we'll have a moment of silence at the end for you. I guess <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no. not, not that we're not going to have you back. We will. Alice Scalfi, love your name now that I know how to pronounce it correctly. Yeah. Lex Valashvili is going to be up, and then Danielle Musa, 3 to 5 p.m. So, a full day of UX, UI design, <clears throat> different topics, different giveaways. Uh, kind yeah. of the same giveaways because we're sticking with Pella today. But I did want to point out next week is graphic design. And then after that, we have. If I'm looking at this yeah. right, like motion graphics, we're gonna have motion graphics. Whoa, that's dope. Uh, okay. Which is gonna be super cool. UX, UI, illustration, uh, just Photoshop design. So we have a lot of things coming up. Also tomorrow we have a new thing where you're le learning from the XD team with Talon Wadsworth. Have you met like Talon Wadsworth? I know you met no. um, uh, Hoyle, Hoyle Wang, but yeah. anyways, we'll get you integrated oh, and we'll love make to, it yeah. so, you, so you don't ever leave us. <clears throat> and uh, so, okay. 
Uh, last thing I want to say, uh, I, I, I'm feeling inspired. I want to I want to keep talking about this, just uh, about fear and insecurity. And, you have and, about and like, a minute or so. A minute. Uh, don't inspired. let fear stop you, and don't let uh, ten seconds. Okay, just. Uh, Keep pushing and keep making, okay? And, and uh, let us know. Hit, hit up Pablo Stanley on the interwebs. Make something, tag him, let him see it. We'd love to see what you're, how you're inspired. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>